Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video and finding it. So today we're making a really, really delicious morning breakfast that will definitely wake anybody up. We are making great and delicious homemade hash browns. So let's figure out how to make this together. So we're gonna go ahead and start with four to five medium potatoes that we peeled and sliced. Uh, we used a full food processor to grate the potatoes to save some time, but you can also use a hand grater as well. And they should look something like that when they're done. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour some cold water on top of that so we can go ahead and get the starch out. We're gonna let that soak and then mix it a little bit. Uh, I went ahead and just used my hands. It's fine. Once they've been soaking for about 15 minutes, uh, we went ahead and strained the water and we just used a kitchen towel and we're just gonna put all the grated potatoes in there over a bowl. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and make a little ball from it, just like that and we're just gonna squeeze out any more excess water. We want to make the potatoes as dry as possible so that um, they do adhere to each other. Once you've squeezed out as much uh, liquid from the potatoes as you could, go ahead and spread it out with a spatula onto the towel for about 10 minutes to let them air dry just a bit more. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of oil in a pan and we're going to pour the potatoes into the frying pan and we're just going to cook them off for about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, not very long, we don't want them to cook all the way through, just uh, enough to basically cook the starch out and that's what we're looking for. And it should look something like this. Now set them aside to cool before we season it. Now for our seasonings, we went with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one green chili that we chopped, half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, and half a teaspoon of cheese. We went with a cheddar cheese mix. Then about three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This will help us bind together the potatoes to form a nice shape of a hash brown. Using a spatula, we'll just uh, slowly turn everything over to get it started mixing, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with our hands and just uh, again mix everything together well because we are going we are going to be forming shapes with these so you might as well get your hands dirty now. Now to form the hash brown shapes you want to go ahead and get your hands um, pretty uh, lubricated with some oil. We are using olive oil on our hands and just go ahead and form a ball just like that. Try making the shape of the hash browns a bit flatter so that um, it fries pretty well in the frying pan. Um, as you'll see, the shape is coming together and you'll go ahead and see a closer look at it. Uh, it should be about the size of the palm of your hands or just a bit bigger. As we make the final shape, it looks just like that and they look amazing. Look at that. All right, let's get through the rest of them. So with four to five potatoes, they made about um, 10 hash brown. Um, one cool tip you could uh, use is you can go ahead and make this batter and potato mix ahead of time and go ahead and freeze it for the next day. So these are the seven we made that day and then we froze the rest to eat later. So in a frying pan, you want to go ahead and just put a little pool of oil. We went ahead and used canola oil and go ahead and bring that up to temperature so that when you put a uh, hash brown in, it will sizzle. Using a spatula, you want to carefully lower um, the hash browns in. You don't want to splash the oil everywhere. 
So we went ahead and yeah, I just flattened it a bit more with the back of the spatula. And um, we went ahead and fried about three at a time. So uh, when we were making it, we found that about seven to eight minutes on each side was pretty good on uh, medium heat. When you do bring your oil up to temperature, make sure you lower the temperature a bit. Otherwise, the potatoes will cook extremely quickly and the inside won't be cooked as much as you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and look at the other side of the hash brown right now. So this is how the other side of the hash brown looked. As you can see, they are golden brown and they have been cooking for a while at this point. So we'll go ahead and flip it over and take a look at the other side before we take it out. So let's take a quick look at that. There you go. You want that golden brown color right there. It will be extremely crispy and delicious. Not like burn crispy, but like a good crispy. So yeah, it's ready, I guess, to serve at this point. Oh yes, before you do serve it, make sure you take it out of the frying pan and put it on a tissue to let the oil absorb in for a while. So that is not extremely oily when you do take a beautiful first bite and this is how they look when they come out and they look amazing so this is how they look when we served them they were extremely crispy and delicious and of course we have our sauces of a spicy chili garlic and of course the signature ketchup they were very very crispy and you could definitely taste the chili and cheese in there and when you take a closer look it looks amazing i don't know why the camera is shimmering like that but it still looks amazing so for the signature break test uh you will see a wonderful surprise when you do break it in you see all those individual potato flakes inside it looks amazing it has a great texture when you bite into it and yeah that's about it so i want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it please remember to like share and subscribe and leave a comment of course and don't forget to check out our other videos you see before you and let us know what the, what you think of those recipes have a good one take care